I mean, uh, I will draw my cards. I should probably start with it, right? Okay, so Mender is basically like card advantage in a way. Man, look at this stuff. We are absolutely doing it in pretty high mythic. Hello everyone, it's Love here and today we are actually playing a uh, Azorius Tesseret deck. I know a lot of you requested this one and given the next set is full of artifacts, I really think Tesseret has a real shot at becoming one of the powerhouses for the Planewalker. It's basically a 4 mana Planewalker that draws you a lot of cards and it's so much better than just drawing a card when you draw two and discard one, uh, if that's an artifact. So we have an artifact deck and you, you know, Right now there's this early access, yuck, nobody wants to play it and I definitely did not apply to get this account and access so I can give you guys all the new cards. I definitely did not and especially I did not do it twice and never got an answer from Wizards. And you know what? That's fine. We are absolutely fine because maybe they have new cards, okay? But they never play the old cards, so why bother? You probably never seen this one. You probably never seen this one. I, I like this one quite a lot. You probably don't see a crap being used <laughs> and we have all of of those yeah this is a bit of a you know janky deck but the results were absolutely awesome we won nearly all of the games including like a lot of games in high mythic i don't know i think we played pretty well that might be the secret but you will see a lot of meta decks just struggling with us and there is a lot of reason for this so of course we have a lot of artifacts uh, for the counter spells, we have this one because you have you can tap artifacts like Moonsnare Prototype, Bankbuster. Bankbusters are of course the powerhouse because not only they are artifact, they are actually amazing artifact that you want to play even in different control decks. Uh, but we can discard artifacts to first for knowledge, so that gives us three mana, draw three cards, discard one. That's a really good value. And Tesseret, of course, as we talked about. Don't forget this has passive because I actually forgot. And thanks to highlighting of the cards, Wizards, even I can not miss a play. Uh, <laughs> we have Circuit Mander, very interesting card that is Stabilizer. It's not the best card for its value, but it's an artifact. And suddenly it becomes a very, very strong card that gives you cards, gives you life gain, blockers, helps to defend Planewalkers. And if you don't need it, you just discard it to whatever. Celeste is always good. The Populate wins you a lot of games. Farewell, as always. Crap. It's an artifact, it's a channel counter spell, so it means against Mono Blue, don't forget, you can actually counter their stuff and they cannot react to this because it's an ability, it's not a spell, so they cannot counter it. Uh, Elspeth, one of the interesting choices, but look at this, like we have Menders, we have Celestus, we have Bangbusters, we have even the Sphere, we can even get the prototype, like we have quite a lot of cards that we can hit with the minus three. And when you get the Mender, it's so hard to go through and it protects Planewalkers very well. It's not the best value, but it's enough to just start the game. And when you start putting counters on the creatures, this Circuit Mender can become an angel of horror. Yeah, it might be nearly done. Uh, this video. So this is the deck. I really enjoyed it. I like this card and this card maybe a little less, but this one was really helpful during the games and you probably never seen it used. So this is the deck. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like interesting decks and we do definitely do not need new cards. Yuck. Yuck. We are just playing the old ones nobody cares about and we are winning with them at, at this. All right, <laughs> that's cringe. Let's go into the games. All right, I'm definitely not scared about playing <laughs> into Mythic with this one, but we will start for time, okay? Is it first time I ever used this card in rank? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it is. All right, so what we are against? Boros or maybe Jeskai. We will go for this one. Like, this is such a good setup. When you are on the play with Bangbuster, this is absolutely best of both worlds. Unless your opponent... Oh, I see. I see how it is. So, you want to play. You want to play. This is two creatures, sure. I mean, I don't mind drawing cards. How about you? Yep, just sky control. So, we are in for some controlling matchups. Uh, it's really good that we got advantage with the Bangbuster, and thanks to first, we are not getting outvalued. Nice. Counter spell is always nice. We cannot go for the Circuit Mender because then we don't draw cards. We want to be ahead. Uh, this, the the fact that he had Bangbuster is kind of brutal because this does not give us advantage in the end. Uh, we just need to endure. 
everyone got three cards for free, basically. <laughs> However, we have a lot of stuff that we can do, and this mirror sure crap is such a good draw. All right, do I want to have five ter five mana for two turns, or I want four mana and six mana? That's a big deal. He can pressure next turn. I will play like this. I want to have it done, you know. And it's not like I'm playing Mender because I want uh, I want a counter spell. Also, at that step we flip the Bankbuster, so we do force them to do something. I mean, I kind of do not like it, <laughs> to be absolutely honest. I really do not like it. Okay, do your worst. Do your worst. He punished us for the Stapland super hard. Like, we are even right now thanks to Bankbuster Wars, but after Memory of the Rush, we are behind. Flashback is another problem that we need to solve, but so far, so good, honestly. Alright, so we play the Mender. We leave 3 mana, so he sees that another crap is possible. That's my that's my idea. This is not card you really want to counter spell. And it means that at the end step we activate the Bangbuster and we start the smoking. We won't kill him ever with this combination. Bro, come on. Don't be this guy. Stop overdrawing cards. Yeah, we are at a slight disadvantage against like hardcore control decks because they usually run a lot of more control. Uh, like a draw, card draw, but we are draw, getting cards like this. First for knowledge is a good deal, so we are not leaving the second Mender. He's at six. He has two counters on Bangbuster, so we will be one turn ahead at least. Okay, let's prepare for some burn action. It will happen probably right now, I would guess. Okay, no. I guess he wants to bait some counter spells in, in this case, I would guess. I mean, I will crew it. I won't hesitate to do the thing. Uh, fortunately, he's at 6 mana. Alright, so let's eat the Emperor like a bro. And Bangbuster is gone. Oh, Fires of Victor with no kicker. Oh, you love to see it. That's probably the lowest value play. It's, it's interesting. I would personally just draw a card. I guess he's scared what we can do during main phase if he taps out. He, what he doesn't know is that we only have circuit matter. <laughs> but you know what? It's 5 damage. 5 damage a turn. You might want to counter it. Also when they die, they refill the hand. But we are behind. We have basically 3 cards. And he has 6 and Memory of the Rouge is his edge. This is why he's winning. Because right now we are kinda even, if he did not have Memory the Rouge, we could even outvalue him with the first, but those two cards, man, like we need Farewell, but when we cast Farewell, he just counters it. He didn't show any counter spell, but with this kind of deck, I'm quite sure he should have something. Nearly for sure, you know? And I think we try to first main phase. I want him to start reacting to stuff, and I'm sure that he will draw more runs, so you know. Did I really kick this? Oh man, that's so lame. <laughs> alright, uh, it's it's too much junk for my taste. But man, alright, whatever. We are here to go big. We are stunning the token, the 1-1 one -one tokens for 5 mana. The value, the value we are getting is insane. Of course, he can activate the Bankbuster, so he still has one blocker. But he doesn't really want to block with the pilot. He actually freaking counters it. <laughs> oh yeah, feel the threat. The best card of the deck. Uh, frankly, draw a card was the big deal. He cannot counter. So he will draw a then step. And then we will strike with the first of knowledge. Four. Man, I remember this card from so long ago. That's that's a very weird block. Oh, I guess it's long-term block. So we normally we want to cast it, but I'm sure he will use this. So we don't need to do it at the end step. 
Yep. Now we do it. Oh, uh, feels better. I mean, anything except two lands would be better, but... You know, first for knowledge does not have drawback for me, because I just discard lands. And that's absolutely fine. Oh man, like we are, look, you can see that we are slowly getting grinded out of cards. Alright, but we have two cards here, don't forget. Just please kill them, okay? Please kill them, bro. You need to kill them. We can also make double block, so I guess we are not on the attack king side. Oh, we are. We are on the attack. Oh, oh I like it. I actually will play land for this reason. Alright, Elspeth is a really important role. It means that we can kill Emperor. So he can just crew the Bangbuster with the pilot. We need flying. Well, I really hope this doesn't get countered and it will. Because he dissipated my tap. <laughs> Oh my god, so he, he had counter spells for this and he didn't have for this one. I see, I see. No, nothing nothing sus here. Oh, he will kill it in response, won't he? But we have a 3-4 Mender. And this is actually important. Like, this is a big deal. One of our creatures is absolutely busted right now. I think it won't hit the Emperor but maybe our emperor can make sure it hits that's that's my only no please don't why are you this guy haha -ha! i got the cards <laughs> now i feel like a moral winner but yeah i mean celestus is good can i have celestus please bro thanks thanks that's nice that's really nice of him uh, where are we in this game? We are definitely on the losing side right now because memory delusions are still here. So maybe we can beat those cards in the board, but I don't think we can beat memory delusion in all honesty. Elspeth needs to do some insane lifting if we are about to win this game. And theoretically she can. He can sneak 4 damage, this does not kill Elspeth. And we of course block the Bangbuster and then we draw 2 cards. With Celestus we can draw even more. Mander, do your thing. Come and die. <laughs> That's basically what this card does. <laughs> just hey, dies. I'm just an but it's pretty cool, like, you usually get the value out of this. Bang bus. Okay. Okay, this is first thing to get back into the game. Absolutely. The cycling is also premium, because he wants to memorial, so he has 3 mana. He might get a counter spur. Wow, we have Tezzeret in the deck, <laughs> it seems. Alright. All right, jokes aside, jokes aside, we really need to think about this one. So we can clear the board and start getting the initiative. And honestly, I think this is this is what needs to happen. He has so much mana, it's scary. And yeah, the memory deluge will start kicking, kicking in. All right, so he feels, ah, oh, you cannot kill our stuff anyway. Let's see. And he doesn't play like he's heavy on the counter spells, to be absolute, absolutely honest with you. Oh man, this is a hard choice, because drawing two cards is a big deal. But I think we need to pressure the Emperor. That's a, that's a really big syncopate. Okay, that's interesting. That is an interesting choice. We can cast the Emperor now. There is high chance it goes through. All right, bro, nice. Okay, okay. And we are doing it because I don't want to waste plus one. All right, so what this card has. Rifling does not matter. Vigilance is pretty good. Flying is pretty amazing. Uh, we, sh we have shown what exactly is our plan, killing planewalkers. Uh, I will draw a card, sure. That's a good card. I don't want to discard, but it's not worth three cards, you know? Oh, maybe I should not. But I expected land from the top, you know? I really expected land. Alright, so I think we are, like, we are doing some baby steps to like balance this game out. This is always menacing. We have farewells. If we hit farewell and exile this, we are absolutely fine. 
And we, if we had it before, that would be so much better. Okay, that's a good cycle. Ooh, yes, yes, give me the counter spells. He has only three cards, so three, seven. We have three, four mana that he can use to actually cast spells, most likely. We probably can counter one. All right, this is... Oh, he has Vigilance. Wow, I did not notice my Samurais that I'm using Sincere have Vigilance. Of course, we will go for the first strike just to equalize if he plus one something. And let's see the burn, right? This also means that even if something happens, like it doesn't hit the Emperor for some reason. A gun. Oh my god, if I put... I did not play around a Ganju, this is the only spell that we cannot counter. If I put the counter on this, this would survive. But I honestly, 3 color deck, he has probably won a Ganju in the deck. I think that we were doing okay work, you know? Alright, this is the Bang Buster. Oh man, that was such a big deal. I did not... Ex he got me good here. The Ganjo, the game clock. Oh, hi. Alright, do we think he... Alright, he has 4, 7. He will cast it. We can... No. Farewell was good when he tapped out. Like, we can get rid of one Memory Deluge, but he cast the other one, and we are one card to so many, and we cannot even counter spell. Oh, man. Oh, man, do we really need to endure both Memory Deluge? Nah, we don't. I mean, I will play one. Like, I don't love this play, but you know what? It's probably the best we have. But the second one, man, the second one, just... Dev I knew it! I knew this would be the choice! Oh my god. Oh, it, it bleeds my heart. Oh man, but... He knows that must be the banger because we discarded for well for this. This would be an issue. But we can try to make it work with Elspeth. The problem is that this will be a bit a bit bigger always. So I'm not sure. Maybe we just minus three the Elspeth. We have a lot of three drops in the whole deck. We need to jump block. No questions about it. Guys, if we beat to memory the Rouge, I think there might be a chance. Oh man, I'm scared. Celestus scares me. By the way, we're at 30. Somehow. <laughs> I mean... I should have drew in f first. I should have go full control. That was another mistake. I mean... I will decline. And that is a good card. That's actually a really good card. Alright. We might hit something, maybe. I'm not sure if we have something in the deck. Let's go for this, and let's pray. I'm sure there's something I can hit. You're safe now. Guys, that's that's some serious stuff. We are we can get back to eight cards. We can kill this. I think that we are slowly, slowly grinding him, guys. What the hell did I click? Okay, I never use this card. Okay, <laughs> you need to take it, in, it into account. And what is the loyalty on Emperor? It will be annoying for 20 next turns. Oh, that's something I want to cycle. Alright, let's start drawing cards. Guys, if we can stabilize. He wants to cast Memorderus so bad right now. And you know what? I need more mana. I actually do. I mean... If we use the Emperor, we don't get anything. I think we do it like this. He does not have haste creatures right now. And I don't draw my face. Did I cast something? Yeah, well, I cast this one. So if I cast another spell, but I cannot. Alright, I think that's it. Bangbuster with shield can be... Bro, really? Really? Oh my god, I don't think we can beat this. Okay, I expected Memory Deluge and it was nearly there, but... Against Hullbreaker? Like, really? I cannot counter it, you know, because it's not good enough, it needs to have this close as well. I mean, whatever he bounces, this gives us value at least. 
And the problem is that he will have so much stuff. Like, we have ways to deal with this. If we hit one depopulate, what is it? Like, we can cast all of this back and get free loyalty. So, it's not as good of a deal as it seems. But the fact that I had to discard farewell bleeds my heart. And we have one more. If we can hit it and resolve it, that's a good stuff. Yeah, so he decided that Elspeth is the lesser problem. So he wants to get rid of the Emperor first. We also have so many Emperors. Like, we have a lot of ways to make it work. Samurai, sure. The annoying dudes keep coming. Alright, let's keep going. Like, we have much more cards than him right now. And to come. I mean, that's a circuit man. <laughs> oh, but. I mean, yeah. We have stuff. We could attack something, but we cannot go through the samurai. Like, we can make token and use the other bankbuster to attack, and he needs to chum block. He cannot cool the bankbuster himself, but he just loses this, right? has to be Elspeth, and we need to hit something. Even like Circuit Mander would be annoying for him. Alright, let's see what he chooses. That's a big deal. Probably... Probably this one. Alright, what is... Celestus? I see, I see. You mini. Alright, so this goes back. Easy. Uh, do I want... I will pay one. I think Elspeth needs to be resolved. Like, this is our recurring value other than Bangbusters. We need to hit Farewell or something like this. We don't have enough mana. We only have five. Let's try to hit something good. Even Mander would help. Moonsnare. It doesn't really do anything this turn, right? So let's go for the Mander. We gain two life, yay! <laughs> Alright, but shield gives us a lot of room, so he needs to bounce it and then we get the card because it leaves the battlefield. So that's something, that's something. And you know what, let's do the thing. He has one card, he cannot use this one. So let's start forcing him to use, to, to do stuff basically. It also, this also has shield, so unfortunately we try the shield, right? That kinda sucks, but it is what it is. At least we kill the samurai with no, without using removal, basically. He also cannot just burn it in response. So that's pretty okay. That's pretty okay. Yep. Like, if we force samurai every turn, at some point uh, Emperor needs to get grinded, basically. And... You know what? I heard that the circuit mender is a good deal. <laughs> A really, really good deal. Alright. Alright, alright. Like, we got him down to one card, one Memory Deluge, and we have more, basically. And we also have two cards here baked, and one here, one card here baked. We also have Elspeth that can give flying to whatever is able to attack. Maybe. Who knows, maybe. I would probably bounce this one, most, of, most likely. Or Emperor. He went for this one. I mean, I I like my drawing cards, bro. Guys, we are turning it a little bit around. Like, like right now, he is out of the memory deluge and we are ahead in cards. That's a really big deal. And we'll get even more ahead. The problem is the Hull Breaker now. First the problem was memory deluge, but now the Hull Breaker. Man, this card is so hard to beat if you don't draw your depopulates. And we have a lot of cards that beat this, we just need to keep drawing them. We have three depopulates, if I recall, so we used one. And we have one for a while. Yeah, we have a lot of cards that beat this, or even slow it down. But we need to draw them. I actually... Okay, never mind. I want to block it, but I want to kill the Emperor even more. This kills Emperor on its own, so we don't trade it. Yeah, yeah, click it. Now he needed to make Samurai if... Oh man, that's not a good draw. Elspeth. Again, he has 3 mana only. And he has a lot of cards here. We really need Farewell. And I will exile creatures and artifacts. 
If we do it, I think we can beat him, because we are so ahead on cards and we have Tezzeret. It might seem, like it seems that he has a counter spell and he's thinking, will he have something for the Hullbreaker? Yep. Alright, let's see, let's see. I want a Telespeth because I would give flying to something. If he targets the pilot, we crew the Bangbuster, so that's not good choice, I would say. But on the other hand, Mender is even worse because we draw a card and we just replay it. Yeah, he doesn't know what is... Every one of our cards either benefits from being bounced or just doesn't hurt by being bounced. So, sure, you still have two creatures that will keep attacking. That was super quick. I think that is his last play, guys. He thinks that Elspeth is the big deal. And I honestly don't think she is. Because we have Tezzeret! Uh -huh. So we could attack Emperor with even more. We could also attack his face. But I think drawing into Farewell is the play of the game. Or even the Populate. Celestus. It cycles so many cards. I actually made a mistake. It should be two lands. I can decide, right? Yeah, I messed up. But it's fine, it's absolutely fine. Kill Emperor, it's a planewalker. This is the only thing we cannot answer. And he has one mana. I think there's priority for some weird reason. So I'm still not sure if we go through with this, but we, we are doing it. Yes, we solved the hull breaker. Oh, that's so good. Man, that's so good. Look at this, no Hull Breaker, no Memory Deluge. Now the problem are Bang Busters. <laughs> like this guy just keeps going. Oh my God, oh my God. This is the most epic game of the day, definitely. All right. Like the Bang Busters hurt, hurt like hell. We have only one. We won it. We did it. We won the game. I did not believe it's possible. Guys, we beat a legit control deck with our cool bro and we grinded every memory deluge, every, every, every card. All right, I'm proud of this one. Oh man, in all honesty, this might be the first bad hand we got, like really bad, but it depends. This seems to be some kind of aggro. If we can hit four mana and they don't have Talia and they play a lot of creatures because we don't have double blue for the counter spell. That's a really big deal. The fact that we have bang Bangbuster, I like it. Uh, I think this might carry us through the game. I don't know what I'm playing against. It seems to be mono white control because they did not play any creatures so far, but I don't know. I okay, it seems to be some kind of mono white control. And I think we should be fine. We just need second blue and then we go crazy. Oh, thank you. I mean, I'm just a great player, you know? Nothing to do with luck. Absolutely. <laughs> Alright, so in this situation we have the protocol. We won't be able to draw card. Man, I, this is so, like, uh, disguised. You think it's two mana, but it's not really two mana. Uh, this is definitely pretty smart, but we have the populate for this reason. So if they go super ham on the board, alright, counter will get there. Do we want to counter it and give us ourselves more time? Nah. Nah. Reason is that Restoration of the Ganjo is a creature and it, and a, anyway. So after next turn they transform, he makes a token, attacks, gets a card, and then we sweep anyway. It means that we counter it for one token and one anthem effect. And I think it's not worth it. I think it's really just not worth it. If we plus this, he needs two enchantments to buff it to 4-4. To kill the Tezzeret. It might be good. It might actually be good. Do we force him to double spell somehow? You know what? It means, in the worst case, it means that he casts a lot of spells into the board because he wants the triggers. And it means that our depopulate will get better and we still get the like this trigger. It means that we draw two cards, we get rid of the artifact. Easy cards. And just like this, we have land for the next turn. I think it's worth it, and the point is that he will be busy dealing with Tezzeret, and look at our value. We can basically draw 8 cards, we can absolutely go card for card, as long as we don't die. Okay, I don't like this one. 
I really don't like this one. This will be hard to outvalue, but we have ways to do it. And at the farewell point, we win anyway. This is just four damage. If we depopulate this board and Tesseret is in the board, which seems to be the case. Like, bro, why is it? Oh my god, it has passive. The highlighting of cards saved me because, man, I literally forgot this card has passive. That's how good I am. Wow, <laughs> that's absolute garbage from my side, but all right, let's read it. The first activated ability. All right, I mean, okay, first activated ability of an artifact. So we can depopulate first because it's not an artifact. I really want the token, okay? That's the point. I think I can do it. Nice. Oh, I'm so good because magic highlighted my cards, so I don't need to understand them. Absolutely great. I mean, eh? I will draw my cards. I should probably start with it, right? Okay, so Mender is basically like card advantage in a way. Man, look at this stuff. We are absolutely doing it in pretty high mythic. I mean, we have way too many cards somehow. I definitely want the land for the future turn. What the hell am I supposed to discard? All of those cards are amazing. I don't know. I literally... Man, when your opponent sees you are discarding the Bankbuster, he knows he's in trouble. <laughs> oh, we are so winning this game. It's not... Oh, that's so cute. It seems that we are playing against very bad enchantment build. I've been playing with enchantment and I personally don't like this kind of build. It's, you can see how top heavy this is. It's so slow. Normal enchantment deck would just already win or lose. And they didn't do anything so far. So we just use farewell and we win the game. Easy. Land. It means that first activated ability, we could kinda play this, but then we cannot farewell and I really want to farewell. I don't think we can use the value in any cool way. We don't need to exile artifacts. I mean, who? Creatures? Enchantments, definitely. Graveyard? I mean, sure, I enjoy everything. I just need my artifacts, okay? Uh, is that explosion? If you give him 30 seconds in this position, he will just scoop. <laughs> I mean, I will draw my cards. Uh, I don't want to leave the Bangbuster. This is a good card. I love my lands, but we will draw more. And Tezzeret was absolute banger this, this game. The fact that they didn't kill it means that we just keep refilling our cards every turn and that's only four mana Planewalker. All right, we are actually going first with Celestus. You, you actually love to see it. So uh, this kind of hand is really cool because first you ramp up uh, second, you have a lot of mana and very good mana base. And the biggest deal, at some point you just depopulate. So whatever he played until, you know, you, you have your Celestus, you just sweep everything and that's that's cool. <laughs> uh, we need to uh, basically sweep when he does not have mana because he can get back the Cult Conscript, probably, unless he does not play Tenacious Underdog. Okay, maybe we won't have to play around it. Okay, Concealing Curtain, so it's non skeleton. However, oh man, he will choose the populate, won't he? All right, that's that's worse. It means that we need to play differently uh, because uh, we we are not having our the populate in the hand. He will flip it, attack with curtains, but it's just three damage, you know. Then we play Celestus. All right. If we didn't play Mander, he would flip the curtains. We just need land from the top and we are ab absolutely smoking this guy. He also does not have... Okay, that's... Okay, I need specific land, okay? I mean, Tezzeret seems pretty cool. Do we go for Tezzeret? Like, he will die, right? Yeah, he will die if we play it. I think let's just go for Celestus. And you will see, now he will flip the, the curtains. If he's smart, he also sees that we don't have double white and Celestus actually enables the sweeper next turn. Uh, you will see, I, I give like 80, 85% he will just flip right now. All right, he should do it before the attacks, in all honesty. That's weird. If I block 
or if I don't block where when is he less likely to flip it like if I have no board then he just wants to see what's up right especially this is a really bad block so this would suggest this, the sweeper is coming guys we we, we might him we, we might him play the wrong way that's that's really nice oh tell me this doesn't feel great <laughs> Oh, I'm definitely not clapping to myself. <laughs> oh yes, glorious, glorious sweepers. You you just love to see this guy. Wrath of God, easy, easy game. All right, we are going second, but we have pretty good mana base. Yeah, we we have turn one, so we, uh, when we hit turn three, we should be fine. And we seem to be against the favorite decks of everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but they always have this land for some reason. Uh, is it good for us? Like, we have plays. Bankbuster might be something, uh, though it's super slow, but this is one of the of the reasons how you should play against Mono Blue. So I remember, like, in some Reddit post, someone was asking, and I mentioned that you need to keep playing stuff, even if they counter something. It means they were not able to do, you know, the other stuff. To be absolutely honest, Circuit Mender does not matter <laughs> at all. <laughs> so I think we go into slower game because we have counter spell basically. Uh, we do not counter consider. Uh, if I didn't have the crap, I would play the Mender probably. The point is that two life does not matter against Jin. Look, he's down to four cards. However, we cannot kill Jin. If I had removal, I would probably counter it because then they play Jin, leave one mana up and then we try to kill it. But at this rate, we need to grind him out of the card, so I think he had two impulses. This means two good cards, probably counter spells in those five. But the point is that we can keep playing lands every single turn and just drawing stuff. And he is the one pressure to do something about it. Yeah, we do not play anything. Tesseret is cool. Tesseret is cool. But still, drawing cards and countering spells is cooler. When we get rid of the mirror share cap, like we need to play differently, but until then we can just keep drawing cards. And you might ask Sloth, how do you know that it's so super annoying for uh, this kind of deck? Because I played mono blue and when they kept drawing cards every turn and I couldn't do anything about it, that sucked. Uh, we cycled this just to get this land. I cannot miss a land drop right now. And honestly, next turn, next turn we can start smoking. So even though this is artifact, this is the worst one because this won't die until the end of the game. And two damage a turn does not matter against Jin that you know gives you twenty damage a turn. And suddenly he will have fading hope. So let's not get excited. <laughs> Nothing will happen. But still, there is stuff that we can do as long as we keep overdrawing him. Like we should be absolutely fine. Let's start pressuring, you know? Let's just start pressuring him. Like, uh, this does not matter on its own, but when combined with Bankbuster, that's actually something. I want the Emperor. Can I waste cards? Yeah, I can waste cards. This is a card, don't forget. You gain life, you draw a card, you bounce the Jin. That's pretty good spell, actually. And we really want to have this one. He cannot counter this counter spell. Ooh, you do not like this, bro. I mean, we like it, but he does. <laughs> and this is channel ability. He cannot counter it. <laughs> oh, that was so glorious. And Bankbuster created this card advantage. And you force him to do something. If he cannot, he's out of the game.